the ICC today entertained final deliberations in the pre-trial hearing in which prosecution seeks to bring 70 charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity against Ongwen. Ongwen, a commander of the LRA senior brigade, was represented by Ugandan lawyer Ayana Odong. Odong argued that the prosecution had failed to prove its case against Ongwen. Prosecution has not proved the case that in all these situations, the attack that are alleged, the attacks that are alleged were supposed to be attacks on civilian population. He opined that the state had filed to protect Ongwen as a child when he was abducted at the age of nine. And later he was indoctrinated and told to kill or else he would face the wrath of the LRS Supremo Joseph Kony. Stolen from his family in northern in November. 1987 at nine and a half years. Thirteen years before the amnesty, uh, before the amnesty law became a possibility or was put in place. Think of what he went through. Prosecution lawyers, however, insist that Ongwen could have escaped like all the others did. When they escaped, they could see them in the camps, and they would recognize them in the camps. Nevertheless, this victim, this participating victim, escaped. He also was a young boy when he was abducted. They also sought to debunk the theory that Ongwen feared Connie, who possessed spirits. If he's reading your mind, how can you fool him that he was not in the attack? He doesn't believe then that mind control argument. If he can fool Joseph Connie on the radio, then he doesn't believe that argument. Ongwen was abducted by the LRA at the age of nine and rose through the ranks to become a member of the LRA's high command as the head of the senior brigade. According to prosecution, Ongwen masterminded attacks on Lukodi, Pajule, Abok, and Odek IDP camps. The ICC issued an arrest warrant for Ongwen in 2005 for war crimes and crimes against humanity for his role in the massacres that happened in the Lukodi IDP camp. Following his surrender in January 2015, he was handed over to the ICC upon which an extra 67 charges were added to his charge sheet. The court has been in a pre-trial session to determine what charges will be brought against him, if any. Raymond Mujuni, NTV.